Hello guys and today I want to show you a scratch project I made and it's called the helicopter game. Now basically what happens in this game is there is this little flying cat and using the arrow keys you have to move it and get it to this building. So there are two buildings. The building she starts on and the building she ends on. Now, um, you have to get her to this building without touching any of these clouds. So if she touches any of these clouds, she'll lose and you'll have to restart. I'll show you a demonstration. Like boom and then... <gasps> yeah, see. Now, if I... Uh, if the cat goes near the clouds or if it touches the clouds then it's um gone you'll have to restart and now um yeah so that's it see you won now those who are looking to the tutorial of this project how did i code it how um if you want to learn how to code the this project then um, after this clip that's exactly what I'm gonna do next clip oh uh, yeah so now I'm gonna show you guys how you can code this project now firstly we need to make the backdrop I have already made it but for the sake of this video I'll make it again alright so firstly you need to use the um, square rectangle thing. And now you need to set the color. And I would like the color to be green right now. So the building like this. Boom. Now for the windows and all that, you have to use the square tool. But set the color to blue. So yeah, this now, boom, 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 and now for the door, a final, oops, all right, now for the door, we need to do, Final which color I would pick this one. Boom. There we go. Now um we'll do the other building which will be entirely in whatever color you want. I want um red so I'll put it slightly red. Yeah, there we go. Oops, pink. Um All right, I'll put the color as um yeah, this one looks fine. So, boom. Now, once this is done, you need to cover this. I mean, yeah. Now you need to use the square tool only. And set the brightness to zero or set it to like 20 and saturation to zero. Yeah, this much. Yeah, this much. Now cover this whole thing up with that thing. So, boom. Oops. Anyways, boom. And um, yeah, it doesn't matter if there has been any problem with the backdrop or anything. Even I don't know that much of drawing, especially like this. So yeah, this is what it's like. And then you want to draw the cloud. So use the paint tool and set it to slightly darker. So there won't be any, um, they won't like, okay, anyways. All right, 
you just draw some clouds don't color them in we'll do that later now as you can see um, I've made a mistake if this happens to you no need to worry we can repaint it so the mistake that I made is that I have made the first cloud and all the other clouds too close and too small and um, they are practically impossible I mean if you have those clouds it's practically impossible to beat the game so we'll need to use the eraser tool to rub all of this off now no need you can just uh, you know you can re put all of this I mean <laughs> repaint this and if you want you can also do it in MS paint or any other paint software now color picker and boom and now go to the square tool and bam boom boom and boom now you can remove the outline if you want but then uh, yeah alright now time for the real to make the clouds, make it a little darker, as I said a few minutes ago. And now, bam, 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 bam. Now, bam, 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 boom, boom, boom. Now, use this bucket tool, which is called fill, and fill all of this up. There we go. Now you want to make the actual helicopter, but um, you can use the flying cat as a sprite or whatever flying animal you want. You can also use something from which you made in paint. Now firstly we want to shrink the size to 50%. Now when clicked, so when the green flag is clicked. If the user has changed the size, just maybe, you want to go to the looks tab and set size to 50. There we go. Now, um, what, what, I totally forgot. Yeah, now you want to put the forever thing and then you want to put the go to the sensing tab take out a few of these touching color to be specific take out two and then pull out the touching thing now go to the control tab and the if now if touching the color where was it yeah green then this color then you want it to stop all sounds now boom now you want to duplicate this oops now if touching color this if touching color yellow then say You win. And then you want it to go back to the, the to the start point. So you want to use uh, you want to drag this over here to the start point and then you choose the block go to X so and so and Y so and so. Set the put this block at the very start and over here. There we go. Now you want to duplicate this again, and then you want to remove these blocks. Now you want to define the control. So go to um, <coughs> sorry, just a minute. Yeah, now you can go. 
sorry, I forgot. Um, yeah. So, you want to go to the tab <coughs> Motion and then change Y by now go to the Sensing tab and key up arrow first, change Y by 3. So now if you can see, if I'm pressing the up arrow, the cat is going up. Okay, now you want to duplicate this again. Now you want to throw this away and just put change X by 3. And now you want to put down arrow. Up arrow, down arrow. And then, up, I mean, sorry, up arrow and right arrow, not the down arrow. And then, you want to duplicate this again. And then, key, um, down arrow press. Then you want to do, uh, change X. I mean, sorry, you want key left arrow press for if you want to go behind or something. Then you want to change x by minus 3. So up arrow and down arrow, it will be for up arrow, change y by 3. For down um, right arrow, change x by 3. Then key left arrow, change x by minus 3. And key right arrow, key right arrow, change y by minus 3. So now if you can see, we've got a... Yes. Now we just need to define one more command that is if it's touching those clouds how um, it can grow, how it can uh, show your leaves and all that. Now <laughs> sorry I forgot about one thing it was that if the down arrow is pressed um, change y by minus three. So, boom, boom, boom. Yeah, alright, so now it's fully functional except for the clouds. Now let's do that in the GIFI. So yeah, I'm using a few words again and again. Okay, so... When the flag is clicked, you want to do another forever. And if I change color, I will spread these blocks. Yeah, so if touching color and now take the color of this. If touching color of the clouds, then say you lose. Why? Oops. Okay. There we go. And then you want it to go to X two hundred one or and my y minus 86 or whatever um whatever it whatever tab i mean whatever wherever your building is so wherever the top of your building is you want it to uh, you want that to be the start point yeah so now we've got a fully functional helicopter game or rather flying cat game so look at this what is happening what is must be a problem. You lose one again. Hmm. Yeah, so um, I fixed it, and uh, um, actually, I just changed the project. So now you actually have a fully functional, um, fully functional helicopter game. So hope you enjoyed this video. Outro.